Hey guys, Techn uh, Basil here from Techno Talk. Coming at you with your first XHTML and uh, CSS tutorial. Uh, we're gonna start this. The, by, we're gonna start this tutorial series blah, 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 with uh, some simple HTML code, and then we're going to get into CSS and such. And such. <sighs> if you don't know what XHTML and CSS are, it's um. Look, it's pretty much um, programming for websites. So if you look at this website right here, like for example, we have Google, or a better example would be like Yahoo.com. Um, all these images and text and everything that you see on this website is programmed in HTML, and I can actually prove it to you right here. Because if you're in Google Chrome, and every browser can do this, but if you're in Google Chrome, you can right-click anywhere, say View Page Source, it'll open up a tab, and everything all right here, all this complicated. What the heck is this? This is actually HTML code. So you're going to learn how to do this. Um, so the first thing that you should have is you can program HTML and you can program any program really um, using any t old text editor. Like you could use uh, any, if you're running Windows, then you should have, oops, wrong thing, then you should have Notepad on your computer. And this is just a very simple text editor that you can write stuff, but it's really not that fun, and it's very it's not very helpful because it's very very simple. So something this is just my recommendation that I suggest you get is something called Notepad Plus Plus. So if you search Notepad Plus Plus into Google, the first uh, search result that comes up, if you click it, it will take you here, and then you can click download. And you can say download the current version, and it will take you through all that. So um, I already have it downloaded, and I have it up right here. This is what Notepad++ looks like, and uh, it actually it looks a lot better. You have all these options and uh, a lot of stuff you can do. This is very good for actually programming in a bunch of different languages. Technically, HTML is not a programming language, but it is in the sense that you know there's keywords and there's things you have to do. So we're going to go ahead and start. Um, the first thing you would need to do is create a new file so you can click new or you can say file new I already have one open here and then you need to save it um, go ahead and ha it's a good idea to have a folder to keep all this stuff in so I have one on my desktop here called HTML files so let's go ahead and save this uh, let's call it god dang it tutorial and then save as type. This is another great thing about Notepad++ is that it gives you so many different types to save it as. So we're going to look for where is it? Where is it? Uh, hypertext Markup Language, which stands for HTML. So tutorial HTML. Go ahead and save it. And what this is going to do now is that whatever we write, it's going to recognize keywords in HTML code and it's going to highlight them for us in different colors and help us. Um, know what we're doing. So the first thing that you're going to need to have at the top of any HTML code, just like in kind of in C++, you always have to have pound include IO stream, is you have to have less than greater than, and then inside of that you're going to need exclamation point doc type space uh, HTML. And you're going to need to have that at the top of any HTML code, so go ahead and do that. Now the thing about HTML is that it's consisted of um, the main thing is tags. Tags are going to be pretty much the core foundation of all the code that you're going to be writing because tags are going to help you turn regular text and whatever into the fantastic images and uh, links and text that you see on um, a web page. So for example, uh, a tag is just you would have less than, greater than, and then inside you would have the name of your tag and um, the browser would recognize what the tags mean. Uh, there's different types of tags, but the most simple one is going to be you have a beginning tag and you have an ending tag. So for example, your entire um, web page, all your code has to be within the HTML tags. So go ahead and make a tag called HTML, so you would just have that inside of a less than and greater than. And then after, at the end, you would have to have the same thing, but you would have forward slash HTML. So this is the first type of making a tag, where the uh, beginning tag is just the actual name inside of the uh, less than, greater than. And then the end tag would be the same thing, but with a forward slash. So everything is going to go inside of these HTML tags. Now, there's two main things that make up a web page. It's the head and the body. The head is pretty much things like the title and all the... Uh, technical stuff that you're not really going to be seeing on the web page but that's important to it and then the body is going to be like all the uh, fancy fancy images and whatnot right here so let's go ahead and start we'll make, we'll make a, some head tags 
uh, if I can spell head right. And then in the head, for this code, all we're going to have is we're going to have a title. So again, we need to make a title tags. And then um, we don't need to make a new line. We can just do it right here. We can say title and say this is the title. And then have the end title tag. So right now what this is, is if we save this, because we already saved it as, and then we go to that folder where we saved it, we got HTML files, and we were to open it, what we could do is we double click it and it would open it inside of our uh, browser. And so as you can see right now, our website doesn't have anything on it, but up here it actually does have the title, this is the title, because that's all that we've made so far. So that's cool. And then after outside of the head, you would have the body, And then in the body, you can have text like, this text is in the body. Save it. And then what you can do is you can go over to your browser where you have this web page, and then just click refresh, and it shows up there. This text is in the body, and this is the title. And um, so one last time, if you go look at this, one thing that you're going to be getting used to that you can kind of see if you just look at it is the way that things are kind of sandwiched together. So for example, this is the title. is sandwiched between the title tags, which are sandwiched between the head tags, which is all sandwiched in between, in, in between the HTML tags. And you have body down here. So that's all I'm going to go over for now. In the next tutorial, we'll go over some more common tags for uh, the body. And then we'll get into images and links and all that cool stuff eventually. So stay tuned for more HTML tutorials. And make sure to go back to TechnoTalk to ch check out some Java tutorials and C++ tutorials as well. Thanks for watching. Bye.